Right, right. Mr. Mayor, can I hold your hand? Yes, you can. Hey, that's a few. <laughs> Why we're starting here is to give you some history of our neighborhood. We have some of the least amount of park space in all of New York City. Interesting. We mm -hmm. rank 50 out of 51 when it comes to green space per person, mm -hmm. and we're one of the most diverse neighborhoods, Jackson Heights, in the world. I wanted to bring the mayor out to our 34th Avenue Open Street to see how incredibly vital and special it is for our community. We were the epicenter of the pandemic. 34th Avenue Open Street has been a lifeline for our neighborhood and I wanted him to see it firsthand so we can work together to transform it into a linear park for our community. Well, I usually ride my bike with my mom and it, and my mom has joy just riding on the open streets with me. Oh. Love it, love it, love it. I ride my bike all the time too. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank you, thank you. We really appreciate it very much. Thank you. We love you know? the open street. Love too. So because of the open street, um, we've created a Jackson Heights community group run and now it's become a huge thing it's every Monday night we become quite like a little family and because of that we've done like meetups to local um, restaurants to support them as well I actually live in Woodside so this is a great connector for me to come down to the farmers market so I mentioned a lot of the small local businesses in Jackson Heights so Big, big fan of the open streets. How are you? Thank you all. Thank you. For the last two years, it has been the thing that I think has kept us healthy and sane with a teeny tiny human. Being able to get out of the house and meet people and meet friends. It's community. This was all concrete over here. Mm -hmm. And with the 10 year project to expand our park, we finally got grass into our neighborhood. Wow, wow, and wow. It was it's the only patch that we have, and it's been so special for our community. And wow. now, with our open street, mm -hmm. the question I'd say is, imagine if we could expand this onto 34th Avenue right mm -hmm. over here. Right here, this right street here. up here. Yep, this is the open street. From 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. every day, seven days a week. 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Okay, okay. Exactly. Everyone, I run on this street, people have salsa classes on the street, mm -hmm. English classes on the street, mm -hmm. and every community, if you walk down here on a school day, mm -hmm. kids are with their parents walking down to drop the kids off at school to mm -hmm. pick them up. Right. It is the model open street for all of New York City. So now what about these cars that are here? They park earlier, they're, they're allowed to stay? Like they're, what's, the, what's the rules? They're allowed to stay, they gotta drive five miles per hour, really one block to get off the avenue and go elsewhere. You know, if the councilman reaches out to me and says, Eric, I want you to see what's significant in my district, walking the street, talking to the people, and having a council person that his hands are on the ground, uh, his ears are on the ground, uh, that's important to me. And you know, I wanted to be out here with him to let him know I hear him, I see him, and I need to learn from him on what's important in this district. Let me show you how to do it. Well, he gave it a good shot. We love it. Yeah. Honestly, we walk here every morning. Yeah. And every morning and evening we walk over here. Just now, we just took the walk. It's beautiful. Well, I love the open street very much. Yeah. Yes. And what do you do on it? Uh, everything. Walk, ride my bike, run, walk my dog. My daughter's over here. She rides her bike. We roller skate. We do salsa. We do zumba, and. It's great. It's uh, we love it. My kids love it. My friends love it. Everyone loves it. It's, it's crucial. And know what else it does? Something that many of us miss. It allows us to talk to each other. You know, people were you know across the street yelling and screaming. I said, no, come, let's talk to each other. We, when your mayor walks the street, your council person walks the street. Once you talk to me, you know what you're going to do. You're going to talk to your neighbors. You want to realize that we are the same, and that's the goal that I'm trying to do in this city. The open street creates social cohesion. I've met so many new friends and neighbors who I can just easily go for a walk with on a random morning, um, and that's not something I've had in my 13 years living in New York City until I had this space. Why do you think it's been so good for our neighbors? Because we don't have open space and people need the ability to get out and not feel threatened by cars. My kid learned to ride a bike. You know, on the avenue, it, it has a lot of 
meaning for our whole family. You know, it's been a godsend. He got to see how we use it every day as a community, and he seemed to really enjoy that and want to jump in and participate too. He got to also see the history of how we have some of the least amount of park space in all of New York City, and how important it is for us to have green and open space, especially coming out of this pandemic. And he told me how much he appreciated that perspective, seeing on the ground how important it is for our community.